well, part two, as I was saying, you know, the stupid things I see people doing on YouTube as far as with the guns and stuff, you know, that's why we having problems with the ATF with simple things like a pistol brace. What do a pistol brace have to do with anything? That's made for a disabled person to balance the gun and help them support the gun. Plain and simple. So now that you've seen a couple of knuckleheads on, on YouTube and stuff bracing the pistol brace, you made it illegal. First of all, I, I would like to know who gave y'all the right to constitute the law? Who gave y'all the right to re create law? Who gave y'all that right? You know, as I was saying, Never slam your revolver shut because what you do is you mess up the timers. You're messing up the timers on the cylinder. Then you wonder why you miss it don't misfire. The firing pin ain't hitting the ain't, ain't hitting the cartridge. That's all that's happening. But you people doing some stupid things on Facebook. And people watch, people really actually think y'all know what you're doing with, the, with these guns. Like I said, when you grab a gun, you got your hand in the trigger. Never put your hand in the trigger of a gun. Always assume that this gun is loaded. Always assume that. I wouldn't care if you went in the bathroom, knew it was unloaded. That's how I teach my kids. You know, if they leave that room, they leave that gun out of sight for a second, recheck that gun and make sure it's not loaded. You don't know what could have happened. Somebody could have came and put a bullet in it around right up in it um another thing you know you guys seeing the young guys you really what y'all don't realize is the young people is watching y'all and everything y'all doing everything y'all doing they're trying to do on the streets you need to stop that mess especially you grown folks that have been into guns for years you you giving the wrong you giving the wrong message to people you know these are nothing to play with guns are nothing to play with you know, I, I I have a good time but just shooting at the range, you know, keeping sharp. I love I love shooting at the range. And what sounds so crazy, I don't even like wearing the air my earpiece and know I'm messing up my ears. I'm always asking, huh, huh? I know my ears is gone, my hearing is gone. But look, I just did what I told y'all don't do. That's a force of habit from when I was young and dumb. You know, I used to have messed up guns, you know. But this this particular Taurus right here, I never even I, I never even fired this gun. I actually brought this gun for memories, you know, flashbacks. 38 snub nose. I brought this thing for flashback back in the days. This was the thing was two inch barrel, stuck up in your waist. One doggone thing. You ain't have to worry about shooting yourself with these. You know, no accidental fire. You got too much to, too much to do for it to go off. Anyway, what I'm gonna do? I took off my Glock 40. I went back to my um my Taurus 9. I went back to my Taurus 9, a little lighter, easier to conceal. Um, I didn't like the way it was bulging out when I'm being the stores and stuff. I would have to put my arm like this to brace my gun. You know, safety, always safety. I done seen too many people get guns snatched. When they snatch your gun, ain't nothing you can do but submit. So, best thing I could tell you, if you want to open carry, is make sure you don't let nobody, nobody get too close to you. No, and you always, always keep your back eyes open. Keep them open. You know, leave them, cut that third out of conscious mind. Let that conscious mind go to work. Anyway, once again, like I said,